Good morning. It is about 9 a.m. on Sunday, August 18th. About 63 degrees out, and I am loving it as Oregon enters its uh, season that I like to call false fall. See, we have a few hot weeks in the summer, then we get this illusion of fall. Leaves change colors, temperatures drop, and then sometime around September, sometimes October, we get second summer for a few weeks. Had a bunch of thunderstorms yesterday, so it's a little muggy, um, but everything is damp and cool. And I'm finally back out at the range. I know the publishing schedule makes it look like I was out there, but uh, sometimes I don't get to shoot for a couple weeks, and that just happened. So I'm anxious to get back out. And today, I've got quite a load on. <laughs> Brought out the uh, Q100 Mark 23 for some more ammo tests. When I did that 24 load series on 115 grain, a lot of you asked for 124s. Um, Channel funding at the moment doesn't mean that I can be just going out and grabbing a whole bunch of loads like I could Geez over a year ago when I did that um, Stuff waxes and wanes, but I have over time collected up some random 124s That I'm gonna try to get through we've got Magtech. We have Fiocchi this will be interesting since Fiocchi was the weakest of the 115s while they redeem themselves at 124 um, some spear lawman Colt National Match. Now this is supposed to be match ammo. Uh, we'll find out if it is. I really kind of hope it is because, well, some of you who are with the channel way back may recall, I used to use Nosler Match for groups at the end because that ammo was spectacular. Unfortunately, over the last couple years, um, their quality has just fallen apart. And so I stopped using it. I bought a whole bunch of Nosler Match and then I uh, was having all kinds of issues with it, chronored it, and it was terrible. I told them about it, and they said, uh, send that back. No offer for a refund, no offer for replacement. They just wanted me to send the ammo that I purchased back. That's why Nosler hasn't been on the channel in a while. Uh, also got some PMC Bronze 124 grain. Some of these uh, kind of tasteless American sniper. Um, even though it says American, the stuff appears to be made in Turkey. And then we've got some Bellum uh, 124 grain. This stuff I've never chronographed, but I have used in a training course and was pretty good. And of course, you see Global Ordnance push this out to a lot of folks. Um, see how good it is. And then, if I get through all that in my case here, and over at gbgunsdevo.com, I recently did a post about the cases that I've been using for the last few years. This is the newest one. Holds six guns and 20 mags, which is pretty cool. Full photos are in that article. Um, aside from the Grand Power, I brought some of the ones that in the Armory series I've realized I need to revisit or want to spend more time with. And that includes the Airmox Defense X Fire, the Caracal with the cool sight system. One of my favorites that for some reason hasn't really caught on, the Mossberg MC2C. Um, I recall being really impressed with it. And then another one that I was really impressed with, super affordable, thank you to the viewer that pointed out this thing so I was able to snatch one up when they were available, uh, was the Ranger Arms RA9. Now if you saw the shooting impressions of that video, had some extraction issues, um, but only with the range ammo that I was using. It didn't happen at all during what's for dinner, which leads me to believe that maybe um, that particular brass and this extractor weren't getting along. So I'm going to try it with some different stuff today. Um, just burn rounds through it, see if we get the same issues. Uh, because I really, really like the gun. Oh, oh some foam goop on the end there. Uh, so that's a lot. That's um, 7 and 4. That's 11 videos. I don't know if I'm going to get through all of them. I'm going to do my best to try to do it. Uh, I'm going to start with those ammo tests because I'm really curious. Uh, if you saw the which ammo for barrel test series and article, again that's over at gbgunstevo.com, uh, I was surprised at the results we got from 124 grain. It, even different loads, well, uh, different barrel lengths, same load I guess, uh, through all of them, but 124 really came out on top. So, uh, and that wasn't necessarily a NATO load. More on the whole 124 NATO versus 124 grain another time. I need to get set up and get shooting before it gets too hot or before some of those clouds decide to release some more water on us. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, I managed to get through all of them, all the ammo tests and all the gun videos, and I am now tired. Those revisit videos were fun. Um, they're quick and easy, and I interestingly had some different thoughts now, months to years for some of them, after doing the original reviews. I'm curious when those come out to hear feedback from you guys. Those of you that watch these kind of behind the scenes things are uh, more dear to me than the general audience, I guess you could say, because you're paying attention to this stuff. So please, uh, when those hit, let me know if you saw one of these videos and let me know what you think about those revisits. I don't care about the view counts. I care about satisfying you guys and giving you some thoughts. And with each of those guns, I had some, some new thoughts. So I'll be curious to hear what you guys think about them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.